if you're wondering what I'm having, it's the cinnamon drink. I drink this every single day. My mom uh, makes this and it's amazing. Like if you know how to make it, you'll make this every single day of your life. It is so good when had like really ice cold. I drink this throughout the day. It's an addiction. I will leave the recipe link down below so you can check it out and make it and let me know how it is. Tag me everywhere. Mm. Let's begin. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do this makeup tutorial right here. It's very easy makeup look, trust me, you're gonna love it. It's just playing around with a lot of plum shades. The one I love the most, it's a lot of mauve and plums mixed together. So yeah, and this gorgeous metallic lip, super easy to do. So if you wanna know how to get this plum look with the metallic lip, please keep on watching. So I'm taking the Maybelline Nudes palette, this is I can take this palette and like I can literally last all my lifetime with this palette. No, that's a lie. But you know what I mean? This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. Like I can travel with this, like just have this because this has copper, bronze, black, shimmer, everything that you could ask for for a smoky eye, an Indian look, a Western look. That's why I love this. It's so versatile. So that's why you see me using this every time because I cannot find uh, an eyeshadow palette here in India that gets you know as close to the Maybelline nudes when it comes to the palette my head is kind of a mess but we're gonna let that slide I prepped my eyes and I did my foundation concealer everything the same so what I'm doing is just pushing that product into the crease I'm taking my Sephora number 14 and I'm just gonna put that in my crease and outer corner Yowza. that's it so for my lids I'm gonna dive into the Carly Bible palette I love this palette too um, I take this everywhere I go when I'm traveling this is what I have as well so I'm just gonna take this plum shade right here I'm just gonna find similar shades like this and I'm gonna link them down below from Nykaa and Amazon so if you want this sort of a shade you can find it easily so I'm gonna try and look that up for you and yeah, so it's easier because you don't get this palette anymore. It was a limited edition, so yeah. Okay, so I'm taking this and I'm just gonna put this right on the lid. It's a gorgeous plum eyeshadow. I love, um, you know, the purple family, which has like mauve and dark purples, light purples. I love, look, I'm wearing purple on my finger right now this is by Nykaa by the way if you all are wondering you'll always ask me about my nail polishes mostly they're from Nykaa I'm gonna link the name down below I don't remember it I think it's Lavender Crush now that I think of it I'm taking this shade right here it's already hit pan it's such a beautiful shade but I'm just gonna take that it's a lighter um, mauve shade and I'm just going to blend my eyeshadow out just to give it some smokiness and you know just to buff it in so there are no harsh lines I love these tones so much they're so good it just complements every eye I think every eye color every skin tone it's just the perfect color so for my lower lash line, I'm going to take the same combination, these two, and I'm just gonna um, smoke it on my lower lash line. So from the Nudes palette, I'm taking black. Just the basic black color right here. Obviously any black will do. This is just to create some um, depth. So I'm just bringing this right, very close to my lash line and the outer corner. I'm gonna leave my lids bare, no liner, no smoking, nothing. I'm just gonna keep very fluttery lashes. So for lashes, I'm using these two, the Superstar um, Voluminous and the Volume Million Lashes. I'm taking the priming side and I'm just going to coat them I don't know if I want falsies I don't think I do I'm just gonna spend a lot of time lengthening my lashes using this technique then I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to coat the lash okay 
to contour I'm using you guys know I know I've been quite MIA um, I went for my cleanup two days back and my skin was not okay it was healing it still is but I could not stay away from you guys I'm just like I need to get to shooting because I you know I miss you guys so much if you follow me on snap you know how much I miss you So for blush, I'm taking this mauve tone blush. This is uh, Miss Claire in 07. It kind of matches my eyeshadow. I'm sort of going in the same uh, color tone. So I'm taking that and let's see how this goes. For highlighter, I'm taking the NYX Illuminator. I haven't used this in a while because I was too busy using in color and champagne pop all-time favorite the thing with this is it has a lot of glitter particles in it which I'm not a big fan of so I'm gonna let that slide and I'm gonna use this a uh, baked highlighter from Savannah colors this is in the number 02 hmm, this is this is nice I like this highlighter and I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner okay so let's move on to lips and for lips I'm gonna add Midnight Plum by Maybelline and R&B by Colourpop my favorite plum lipstick ever and then we're gonna go metallic for lipstick I'm gonna go in with um, R&B forgetting the name so this is the lipstick without the metallic effect if you like it like this all my power to you but for those of you who want to go a little metallic I'm gonna teach you how so you can pick any highlighter that you have at home any will do as long as it has a little bit of sheen so for me I'm gonna take I want sort of gold reflex if you want silver you can go for a silver highlighter so I'm taking champagne pop all I'm gonna do is take my middle finger or ring finger anything and just dab it very lightly and we're gonna apply that on our lip you want to let the liquid lipstick dry for a bit and then you're gonna just slowly pat it on like that so you're gonna keep doing this until um, you know you're satisfied with the metallic on your lip you want to mainly focus this on the center of your lip like here and here so your lip actually comes forward and it looks a little bit more plump now fair warning it does feel super dry because it's a liquid lipstick and then a powder on top so it does feel like super dry but I mean you know if you want to go kill it all night looking super stylish in this metallic lipstick then go ahead so I'm gonna top it off using some in color by blush blush symphony in color I can never pronounce this blush symphony repair capacity by in color so I'm taking some of that let's see how that goes sort of a pink highlighter so oh it's giving that silver effect silver pink watching this video if you did please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to me if there's anything specific you wanna you know you want me to do any specific 
color series or makeup tutorial let me know in the comment section below and I will do that for you because I want to create videos that you girls and guys want to see um, so definitely throw me some ideas I'd love it tag me in pictures DM me I'm I definitely read all your comments and I see all your pictures so let me know and if you do recreate this metallic lip please tag me so I can see your recreation of it and I would love to I would honestly love to see what you guys do with this so yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Yes. Yeah.